Favignana is just off the coast of Trapani in Sicily. Its harbour is always busy with fishermen landing their catch. The island was famous for its tuna processing factory called a Tonara, which was one of the largest in the Mediterranean. Now it's an architecturally dramatic museum. It once employed pretty much everyone on the island, and locals like to say it was a comparable size to the Fiat factory in Turin. Its caretaker Giuseppe was one of the fishermen who sang so the men in his boat could all keep the same rhythm while hauling in the tuna nets. Here he is in action. Tourism is now the main industry, but islanders still love their tuna. Maria Teresa and friend Mariella share their recipe. Sono Maria Teresa di Favignana, nata e cresciuta qua a Favignana. Allora, io oggi vi preparo il sugo, il ragù di tonno con i gnoccoli. They are using 500 grams of blue fin tuna cut into chunks. Maria Teresa studs each chunk with a couple of cloves and a whole garlic clove. She chops up an onion and sautes this in olive oil before adding the tuna. She fries them for a minute before adding some white wine. E mettiamo una bella stucciata di vino bianco. Facciamo evaporare il vino. Maria Teresa uses a wooden spoon so she doesn't break up the tuna. Il sugo. She adds a liter of tomato passata, followed by a tablespoon each of pine nuts and raisins. Lastly, she adds a handful of basil leaves. Next, she sprinkles in salt and some sugar to counter the tomato's acidity. This sauce needs to simmer for around 20 minutes. Maria Teresa uses semolina flour for her pasta. She wants 50% hydration, so for 500 grams of flour, she's using 250 ml of water. Though, of course, this is all done by eye. They are using bottled water because it's better than the island's tap water. Once Maria Teresa has a smooth dough, she covers it and leaves it to rest for 30 minutes. Once the dough has relaxed, Maria Teresa rolls out a pencil-length strand of pasta. She places five fingers into the dough and pulls it towards her. She pinches it off and then repeats the process. This pasta is called gnocchi and it's typical of the Trapani area. Sometimes cooks use six fingers. This easy pasta shape has been made since the 14th century. Maria Teresa cooks them in boiling salted water for about four minutes once the water has returned to the boil. Always taste your pasta to see if it's ready. To serve, Maria Teresa scoops some pasta into a bowl and ladles over the sauce with a piece of tuna. She does not add cheese. Husband Sebastiano thinks it's delicious. Buon appetito! 
click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.